All right, today I got a spear fishing video for you guys. A lot of pretty cool stuff, little fails, cool creatures that came around. It was a pretty cool day. So right there, you can see our two guns back there. We got two three prongs that we give that to the guests. That's me right there. It was pretty rough this day, but uh, we still went out and gave it a shot. And this is me getting ready to get in the water. I don't load my gun in the boat. I load it until I get in the water. Just for uh, safety reasons. Don't want that gun to misfire. So pretty much as we got in the water, my buddy had shot a fish. He shot a nice snapper, but unfortunately his flopper didn't open and, you know, the fish came out. Right here I see a really nice schoolmaster snapper. He goes into the coral right there. It was pretty big, he's like three or four pounds, but I just went to check right here. He didn't come out that side and I didn't see him, you know. I had to start looking around. So now that I know where he went, I just turn on my flashlight, take a little dive down here. Another shark tries to get in my way right there. So right here I hold on, push myself in a little further. I'm checking underneath this big crevice, but he's not underneath here. So right here I push myself back, pick up my gun in the process. And that's not live coral that I'm holding on right there, that's just a little dead coral, so don't worry about that. That right there, that's a little grunt. This is the guy we had with us today. He was really trying to get on a fish, so I, I told him to shoot this one right here. Right here it turned broadside and he hit the fish, but unfortunately it tore out. And afterwards this big eagle ray came to check us out, so it was a pretty nice treat. You know, and a green turtle was around too, but I just forgot to film. Then we were actually out with this guy for two days, so this was the day before. He had shot a hogfish, you know, he shot it like three times already to be honest, and it just kept getting away, he wasn't hitting it properly. And it went right here in this coral, you could see him right there. So pretty much I just wanted the fish to change spots because it wasn't in a good spot for this guy to shoot. He wasn't, you know, he wasn't too comfortable in the water on his first day and, you know, he couldn't really hold his breath that long. So right here I see the fish again, you know, I already looked into the squirrel multiple times, I know there's no more eels, so I wasn't afraid of sticking my hand inside. And I take out the fish, you know, and I decide I gotta give this guy at least one more opportunity. You can see the fish is all beat up, you know, and he already shot this thing three times, you know, and unfortunately he went in the coral, so he earned it. So right here he goes down, it's a nice shot in it, nice little kill shot. And this fish wasn't that big, but believe me, this guy was so happy that he caught this fish. And this was the next day, you know, where most of this footage is from. Nice hogfish comes out of the coral, and I didn't even realize until I watched this footage, but I only had one band on my gun stretch. But I still managed to hit him with a pretty good shot, so. Right here, this guy comes in for a fist bump. We completely miss each other. Pretty awkward, but I was so happy I got the fish anyways. <laughs> And then this is afterwards, the nurse shark was trying to eat my fish, you know. I wasn't trying to hurt it or anything, I just gave him a little poke. You know, and I don't think he learned because he still came back around again trying to eat my fish. So he was only like a four footer, he wasn't that big, I wasn't really worried about him. So that's all the spear fishing footage I have for today, but uh, I got this little extra clip right here. This is when I came back, you know, and I was filleting all the fish. My body came around, so decided I'd give him some scraps and... He decided, you know, he wants to show off for the camera. That's the hogfish right there, and that's some snapper fillet. So when I take off the spine for, you know, the bones from the fillet, that's what I give to him. That's his favorite fish fillet. So, you know, thank you for watching. Subscribe, give the video a like, and uh, help me come up with a name for this guy. Thanks for watching.